I'm Adam Mazur with College Sports Today. It's Wednesday, August 20th. We're going around the nation with college sports news, beginning, of course, with football. More injuries for third-ranked USC. First their quarterback, then running back Joe McKnight. Now another running back, C.J. Gable, hurt his hip and his ankle yesterday. Might not be available for the opener. The good news, starting quarterback Mark Sanchez is feeling better and says playing in week one is, quote, a definite possibility, end quote. On Monday, we told you Purdue running back Jason Taylor suffered an injury. Today we find out how bad it is. He's out for the season with a torn ACL. Pittsburgh expected to name a starting quarterback after today's scrimmage. More or less a foregone conclusion that it will be redshirt junior Bill Stahl. Well, maybe you haven't heard of tight end Brandon Warren. He was a big-time recruit for Florida State and a freshman All-American in 2006, but he left the Seminoles and moved to Tennessee to be closer to his mother, who had cancer. FSU never granted him his release, so he hasn't played since. But yesterday, the NCAA declared him eligible to play at Tennessee. He's a volunteer now, and don't be shocked if he has an immediate impact for the 18th ranked team in the nation. Some recruiting news, a top Michigan recruit, quarterback Kevin Newsom, has backed out of his commitment. The four-star QB will reopen his recruiting process. And some people might be holding their breath, waiting for college basketball to come. If you're one of those people, get excited for the NIT season tip-off. A 16-team field, seven of those teams made the tournament last season. The headliners, Davidson, Purdue, Oklahoma, and Arizona. Semifinals and finals held in Madison Square Garden, November 26th and 28th. News and notes, New Mexico is extending the contract of football coach Rocky Long. It's a five-year extension through June 2013. He'll now make $750,000 a year. Bet you didn't know this, New Mexico is the only Mountain West team to be bowl eligible every year since 2001. Tom Crean's deal as head coach of Indiana is finally complete. He signs a 10-year deal worth at least $23.6 million. And in hockey, always got to be worried about your 2012 recruiting class, right? Wisconsin gets a non-binding verbal commitment from a 14-year-old, Jordan Schmaltz. This week, get ready for football season by watching some of the SEC's best games from recent years on SEC Football Rewind, part of the CBS College Sports Television Network Summer Refreshments. To watch college sports 24 hours a day, get the CBS College Sports Television Network. Thanks for watching College Sports Today. I'm Adam Azer. Check us out tomorrow.